so I would love to hear about what originally sparked your interest in venture. Yeah, so that's a that's that's a great question. They stitch together revenue streams across TikTokers, creator fund, newsletter subscriptions, and NFT sales. They could make it work. So you wrote this in July of 2021. How have you seen this trend expand since then? It's so awesome. Like I think I mentioned in that piece, since we both grew up in the same school district in San Diego, I'd love to ask what your favorite field trip experience was when you were younger. Oh, the Ruben H. Fleet side center. That was hands down my favorite. Because I'm curious, what can other emerging managers, entrepreneurs, and limited partners do to create better conversations around allowing like a more diverse next generation of fund managers to flourish in this ecosystem? Thank you. It's a great question. I think I was in New York and I was like, so, yeah. <laughs> I was it's... like, doing live TV is so nerve wracking because you're just like. It's, well, I guess you were in studio, right, for that? I was, yep. I've been on Bloomberg, I think, three times now. So I'm curious how you think about, like, your role as a curator. And that can be, like, in or out of startups, but I'm curious about that. Yeah. So I think it's a really interesting question because, you know, on your side from the portfolio standpoint, I would love to hear more about some of your maybe favorite updates on the portfolio side and who provides really great context into their business so that you can best support them. Oh, wow. That's a really good question. I'm curious, when you are looking at investing in a manager, is your decision based more on their network opportunities versus maybe their portfolio structure? You know, that's a good question. And I think, who are your favorite YouTubers? Favorite three. <gasps> Go. My favorite three YouTubers? Yeah. Okay. I feel like, have there been any cases where you've been really, like, surprised or have met someone in person that's recognized you? I have actually, and it's more obviously at the NFT crypto events. I think the common conception is that as a venture capitalist, you have all the money sitting in the bank, which is not true. Not true. Uh, so I'd love if you could share some best practices around capital calls in general. Sure. Be cool. It's a fun, it's a fun topic I never get asked about. <laughs> so, so I'm curious, what time management strategy is, as you thought about focus has made the biggest impact on your work? It's a really good question. I think Learning how to say no is important and then prioritizing mm -hmm. where the most value is going to come from. Who's the best person that you've ever worked with? I can tell you the first person who came to mind, which is really What's interesting that? because I was going to say what hip hop album has been like most formative for you? Oh, Reasonable Doubt. <laughs> because so I was wondering if you'd be willing to share a bit more about why you and the Sendana Nano team chose to partner with us at Behind Genius Ventures. Of course, you, you have that it factor, you know, you're young, but you definitely have that it factor and total hustle. So I think that that is really cool. I'd love to hear more about a fiction book that impacted you or particularly resonated with you recently. Oh, that's a great question. I just finished a book called... What are some of your most memorable moments from that summit? And I'll ask you like more broadly about working with Jason Calacanis Ooh. as well. That is a great question. I think I'd be curious to understand, like, from that framework, what do you think are, like, aspects of your unique melody as a firm? Because I feel like a lot of firms have, like, pretty similar rhythms. Like, you know, we all have SEC <laughs> regulations rhythms. and things like that. Yeah. yeah. That's such a lovely question. Like, we've started before we started recording talking about musical instruments. I I'm curious, like, what your experience of manifestation has been. Oh my God. I mean, I, this is like my subject. I really enjoyed this. Please. Thanks so much, Paige. Really appreciate you having me. This was great and really fun. And a very special thank you to podcast editor Tate Doherty for his great work on this episode and compiling some of my favorite questions.